teaching you how to make GIFs in Photoshop or GIFs or however the heck you want to say them. Basically like those moving images like you see in Harry Potter except they're on the internet. So if you're interested, let's get started. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and show y'all what a GIF is. I know most of y'all know what it is, but some people don't. It's basically just like a moving image like so. They're really popular on Tumblr. I've seen some on Pinterest. Companies use them to show off like their products and stuff. It's just a really interactive way to show images instead of a standard still photo. So I'll be showing y'all how to make a GIF with a video source rather than just still images. So you'll need a video, usually probably an mp4 .movie file. I just grabbed this Harry Potter trailer off of YouTube. You can go ahead and just download a video of anything that you want to make a GIF of. So once you have your video downloaded, go ahead and open Photoshop. And when you get to the screen, hit File, Import, and then we'll do Video Frames to Layers. So go ahead and hit Video Frames to Layers. And then just find where your video is. Mine is on the desktop. Alright, once you got this up, we're going to do selected range only so we can use the trim controls because if you were to make an animation of this whole video, it would be a lot of frames and it, you would have a really big file size. So we'll do selected range only. You can find wherever and what video you have what you want to use to make your GIF of. So I'm just going to scan until I find something that I like. So I like this scene here. So, it's kind of hard to tell where you can start and stop, so you can always start a little right before the scene you want starts, and then just trim to the end, and then find right where the scene ends. You can edit them out once we get the GIF going in Photoshop. So about right here is where my scene ends. So we'll do this and hit OK. So sometimes Photoshop likes to get rid of your workspace when you're importing from a video source. So if that happens to you, just hit Window, Workspace, and then hit your Essentials or whatever workspace you use. And then we're also going to need the Timeline, so just go back to Window and hit Timeline. So your Timeline is where your animation is going to be. It, sh it split up your video into all the frames, so remember when we did Import Video Layers to Frames? It made that video into a whole bunch of frames at the bottom that can be moved around and edited however you want in your GIF. So if you press play, you'll see it start to move because it's just going frame by frame, like how a video works. So I have some unwanted frames in my animation. So I want my animations to start on frame 13, right here, where the ones are casting the spell. But instead I have Voldemort's face in front of it. So to get rid of him, I'm just going to do shift, click, and then delete, and it'll get rid of all those unwanted frames. It just depends on what video you're using and where you want your animation to start and stop. So I have some at frames at the end as well of the Hogwarts burning, so just hit shift, click again, and delete those as well, and they'll be gone. Once you have deleted your unwanted frames, go to your layers panel, and then do shift, click all the way to the top, and do command G or control G, depending on which computer you're using. This is just going to group all the layers into a folder, and we're going to have to delete that later. But before we can do that, go ahead on the timeline and hit the hamburger menu, and do select all frames and then hit it again and do flatten frames into layers. This is just going to flatten all these frames into separate layers that can later be edited. So once you have done that, you can go ahead and delete the group folder. Next, down by looking here on the timeline, we can see this number that says 0 0.04. That is the frame delay, meaning how fast or slow your animation is going to move. I typically like to set mine to 0 0.08 of a second. I think it's a good speed, it's not too fast or too slow for showing um, movement, especially with uh, characters and animation stuff, but depending on what you're using as well, you can be the judge of how fast or how slow you want it to go. So once you have set your frame delay, go ahead and hit the hamburger button again on the timeline and do convert to video timeline. This is going to convert that frame animation timeline into a video one, it's just easier to edit. Um, stuff on it, but we're going to convert all these frames into a one single layer so that it can all be edited together rather than having to go through and edit each frame individually. So to do this, go ahead and shift click on your frame layers and go up to the top where it says filter and do convert for smart filters. 
So once you have converted yours into a smart filter, you can change the duration of the whole animation at the bottom of the timeline. You can also add text and other things to it as well. We also want to go ahead and change the image size because it is pretty big. It's the original size of my video file. So go to image and then image size and then change whatever you need, size dimensions you need. So I'll probably use 500 as my width so it could fit on Tumblr or something. Once you've changed the file size, your GIF is ready to export. You can go to File, Export, Save for Web. And then once you put in these things, make sure it's GIF, Selective Colors 256, the Diffusion, and the Dither. And make sure it's transparent. Make sure in the looping options you hit Forever, or else it's only going to loop once and you won't be able to see it. So you can hit Preview. And that's how it will look on the web. So you could of course jazz your GIF up a little bit. This is the original one I had shown you that I had made prior to filming this. I enhanced the colors a bit. I changed, I added text. I also shortened it just to be a little bit smaller in file size and I cropped it a little bit. So if you wanted to like change up your GIF, just go back to your file and we can do adjustments. We can change the brightness of it and the contrast. We can add curves. We can add some hue. We can change the color of how you want the spells to look. So they could be purple, blue, any color you wanted. Just leaving the original. And then I also cropped mine just a little bit. Can add some exposure to it. And then if we want to add text, just use a text tool. Is it hog? that. I thing to watch out for is how the text layers are here at the bottom on the timeline. So you show that the animation is still going and then the text disappears so just change how the duration of the text to match the frame and then it'll stay there. Same with some of the exposures. So same thing as before, file, export, save for web. And then we can looping options forever, and then we can preview it. And there it is. Alright, I hope this taught you how to make some GIFs. You can post them on Tumblr or use them for websites or put them on Pinterest, anywhere you want that supports GIFs. Thank you guys for watching.